Hey, what's up, everybody? Robert Royston here. Brandy Gills. We're here for a Wine Coast Swing, right? We happen to be in the Finger Lakes area. We're near Seneca Lake. We are. That's uh, in New York for the rest of you like me who didn't know what that was. Oh, yeah, that'd be upstate New York, right? Sorry. Right. So we're here with an amazing winemaker, Don Giovanni. We'd like to welcome him to Wine Coast Swing. We're actually wine tasting today and running around. Brandy and I just taught an intensive at Canfield Dance Arts. So you want to check that out, Canfield Dance Arts. It's absolutely amazing. Paul and Marta, we love them so much. I wear my Canfield Dance Arts shirt all the time. They have a beautiful new studio with an amazing bamboo wood Their floor. floor is like Unreal. nothing else. Unreal. But let's talk wine real fast because he has to get back to work. So we're here now. Don Giovanni yes. and I met last year yes, we did. here, yes. and um, we uh, I fell in love with your wines. Thank you. I fell in love with Zion. Zion's your rosé, yes. Wines, yes. Fell in love with, with, and I now order from you. Yes, <laughs> you ship to my house. I do. We, nice. fo we follow each other on Instagram. You should follow Silver Springs uh, Winery on Instagram. If you don't, if you have a trouble finding it, go to my Instagram page and um, you just look at who I'm following, and you no, will see him there. exactly. So. We're gonna open this up and drink about it. We okay. just we just bought this bottle from you, right. right? So this is the tradition. Yep. So you, can you tell us a little bit about this? Yep, a uh, tradition's a, a wine that uh, originates in its taste from Spain. Spain's an important wine country, uh, so we can't actually bring grapes in from Spain, so we wanna emulate the style. By emulating the style, we do it two different ways. We use the French oak, the limousine oak, from the cognac barrel at the end and Alie oak in the beginning. Um, mostly, it's a combination of blending of grapes. So it's 52% Syrah, 5% Merlot, 1% Petit Verdot, and equal parts of Cab Sauv and Cab Franc. And that combination with the right amount of oak and the right years, 10 through 13, salut, gives you a really nice wine that moves in that direction that gets jammy and spicy, and it kind of makes you want to swing, do a little dance. <laughs> <laughs> it does make you want to swing. This is amazing. It's really so good. good. Now, the reason why I didn't pour him a glass is because he doesn't drink. Exactly. So at home, if you're watching us going, well, how come we're the only two that get to drink? He doesn't drink. I, and I he, partake in other things. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what would that be? What I would that be? I don't know what you might partake in. Right. Yeah, exactly. I think I make a much more intense wine by, by letting the drinking be done from others, yes. Well, operate off of a different plane. So now, uh, your wines uh, aren't found in stores. No, they're not. They're boutique. Uh, it's a boutique winery. Boutique winery. Uh, selectively keeping our production low so that we don't become commercial. Right. I don't want to be a commercial wine. I could easily be. I feel like there's nothing about you that is commercial. No, nah, there could easily become a commercial winery, <laughs> right. but I'm, it's not us. Right. You know. So the way to get the wines is to come here. First of all, it's gorgeous. Beautiful. I'll take some pictures and put it into the end of this of the winery. The winery is amazing, right? It's right on Seneca Lake. That's beautiful as well. It's an awesome place. Right, it's a great it's a place. Area. So, right, if you're a dancer, you come here, you hang out at Canfield Dance Arts, then you pop over to Silver Springs Winery. It's absolutely beautiful. They can order it from you though online, right? They come online. Uh, Look at uh, our product through the website. Through the website, right. And then email me. Don't call me. I don't answer my phone. <laughs> you don't. I've called. He doesn't answer his phone. I, I, leave a voice, uh, I leave a voicemail on his answering machine. He ships me the wine. It's done. We don't actually talk. No, no. <laughs> it's true. So it's better this way. It's better this way. It's, it's more better. efficient. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. This way, Babylon stays out of our life. Babylon stays yeah, yeah, out of our absolutely. life. Exactly. All those are controls and Babylonian things that I think that... Um, impose our, our freedoms, you know? Cell phones and they're like this is good. Right. This is good. This right. is good but not like every minute. Right. I, I got it. Like, yeah. I got it. Don Giovanni, you're amazing. Thank you. I you are absolutely it. so Thank brilliant. You so I will much. come back every year. It's always a blessing come back every year. have you guys and it's an honor. Thank oh, you thank so much. Thank you so much. All right. Thank Silver you. Springs Winery. That's awesome. That's great. So good. All right. He was our first winemaker. We've never had a winemaker on the show before. First of many. Great. All right. So now listen. What we really want to talk about is that there are a couple of Wine Coast Swings that are already in the can, and we haven't... Uh, and they're stuck in the can. And they're stuck in the can. Stuck By in can, the can, I mean my iPhone. Yeah. So I will edit those. I'm going to put them back out. But we're restarting this again. We're going to be doing another episode at Boogie by the Bay. Which is going to be very exciting because we're teaming up with uh, the Naked Truth podcast. Right. And we're doing an episode with them. So definitely be on the lookout for that. If you're at Boogie, come join us live. Right. So, and the Naked Truth podcast, just in case you don't know about it, check it out, please, ahead of time. And then we'll be doing this podcast and all of this 
together. Now, we know there's lots of background noise. We're having a good time. Lots of people here drinking wine. But I did want to say one thing. Brand- what, did you, what did you say we're doing? We're drinking lots of wine. No, no, no but like, how are we shooting this? Oh, we're gorilla, we're gorilla shooting this. We're gorilla shooting this. We're gorilla shooting this. I didn't like, know that was a thing. It was kind of last minute we decided to shoot this episode. So, but Brandy yesterday in our intensive said something I think is super important because we both come from lots of cross training of other dances. And when people come to me that have Latin training or ballet training or jazz training or anything, flamenco, I don't care. If they have other dance training, I always make them feel like that dance training is transferable to our dance. Like I want them to feel like what we do is, is, has some connectivity to what they've done because the body only moves so many ways. Precisely. Right? And I feel like lots of times people come to this dance sport with other dance training and they're made to feel... Dumb. Dumb. Right. Dumb. Right. So you had said... That we need to start adopting universal dance language. We need to stop taking terms from other dances and then twisting them to suit our purposes. And we need to use them in their original intent because somebody who is well-educated in another dance style should come to us and still feel well-educated. Their general dance skills absolutely apply. Their, uh, their, their vocabulary, their understanding of movement, we just need to teach them dance specific skills that right. they didn't acquire elsewhere. Right. And if I hear one more teacher tell a trained dancer that they need to forget their training, I'm going to lose my marbles. Right. Because I need you to use your training to create a different look. But for the love of all that is everything, do not forget your training. Right. And just because somebody trained, let's say, for 30 years in dance, and they come to us, like, say, ballet. And they come to us and the teacher says, you need to forget your training. No. No. Not only do I not need you to forget your training, but I need you to remember how you trained, how you learned. Because they've taken all those years to learn how to dance. They went through a process to understand how their body moves. It's actually much easier to tell them to remember their training and understand how they're putting those Lego pieces, maybe in a different order to create a different shape. But they're the same Lego pieces. Dance is dance. Yeah. So we just alter the way they use their understanding of their movement to suit West Coast Swing. Right. The other thing is, uh, we want to, we want to stop making West Coast Swing feel like the cool kids club that is uninviting to outsiders. Right. We want to continue growing. We have experienced tremendous growth. We want to keep growing. Stop closing our doors. Right. Stop making it feel unwelcoming to others. The other thing is, teachers, Please do not try to carve out your niche in your approach to the basics. Don't make up new things to try to carve out your unique place in this world. I feel like we should all be teaching approximately the same things. Right. And then we should carve out our niche as teachers in how we present the information. I agree completely. So, Philippe is here. (laughs) Here at Silver Springs Winery, they also make pizza. So with a little drizzle. This is one of the best servers yeah, I've listen, ever had. Pizza with, and then they tell you to drizzle olive oil on the pizza at Silver Springs. This is awesome. I so, think I'm just going to live here. Not right. in Silver Springs. No, not in, in New York. Just in this winery. So, so finish your thought for a second okay. why this cools. So the basics are the basics. And we should all be teaching them very similarly. Carve out your niche in the way you present the information. Become a really good teacher and how you approach the artistry at a different level, but there's no reason that we need to be making up new concepts and the basics to try to make ourselves interesting as teachers. Right, I also think, for me, like, I, if I learned a technique, like the five centers of movement that I learned from Tom Slater, yes. I don't go, okay, well, how do I turn the five centers of movement into my own language? No, I say, Here's the five centers of movement. Like the way that I learned it is perfect in its application. Yes. So I'm not going to try to change it because I have to make it my own. Right. I don't mind that. Now, I, I happen to give Tom Slater credit for it all of the time, right? But I know, because I've spoken to Tom about it, if I did it and I didn't give him credit, he he wouldn't care either. He just wants the information out there. Just spread good information. Right. Right. Good information, well presented, and our community is going to thrive. Right. So let's encourage dancers with other training to understand that their training is still applicable to our dance. And relevant. And extremely relevant, right? So that we're not... Uh, on, on the surface, actually, I feel like it makes us look less intelligent. Because they know. Those dancers know. And then they come to us and they hear us say stupid stuff. All that the They're like, wait, that's just a ronde. Why are you calling it a sweep sickled foot weird 
circular thing. Like, like we have. We you have to, did not. I did. So, oh, like, gosh. we have to like. We shouldn't come up with stupid no. things when there's already a vocabulary for them. Exactly. Okay, listen. We have a bunch of people that are here with us here, uh, like including Paul and Marta. Here's what we're gonna have happen right now. We're done. This is a super short episode of Wine Coast Swing. Another one will be shot at Boogie by the Bay on Sunday night, right? We have lots of people that want to eat this pizza. Including so we're actually gonna, me. including us. So they're all gonna come in and get a piece right now. Thank you all so much. Check me out, uh, check us out on my YouTube channel, Wine Coast Swing, right? There's, there's, a, there's a playlist on my channel. Uh, Silver Springs Winery, Paul and Marta, Canfield Dance Arts. Let it run, Philippe, let it run, let it run. Let come it here. Turn. Everybody come in here. Yes, here we are. Yay, all eating pizza. Come on, Aristotle, get in here. Everybody, everybody, squeak around that way. Ah, we're all, Cheers. Silver Springs, perfect. Woo. This is awesome. Mm, that's really good. That's really good. I just ate an entire chunk of That is really good pizza. I think I just ate half a clove. Uh -huh. The pizza was? Oh, okay. Oh, that's nice.